Hey guys, so welcome back to the Knitting Expert Podcast channel. <clears throat> Clearly my voice is going funny today for some reason. Um, anyway, so I'm back with another spinning vlog. I thought it's been a while since I've done one of these. Actually, it's been a little over two months since I last did a spinning vlog. Um, there was a lot of spinning content on the channel through Vlogmas and then on the last couple of podcast episodes as well. But, um, but yeah, I'm working on something now, so I thought it would be fun to do a, a vlog about it. So what I'm working on right now is this gradient bat set by Felvue Fibers. Um, it's a merino tussa silk blend of fibre. It's 150 grams in total, and it's the Dark Reflections gradient bat set. So I'll show you. Ooh. There we go. So these are the five that I've still got to spin, and um, I did actually spin the first five little mini bats. Um, That's what they look like. Little mini bats. Um, they're 15 grams each, so there's 150 grams of fibre total. And this was uh, one of my Christmas presents last year, so like I said, like I said I've spun up half of it. I'm going to spin up the other half on a new bobbin, and then I'm going to chain ply them on themselves to sort of maintain that colour gradient throughout. And uh, fingers crossed it all turns out okay. Um, so yeah, I, in terms of prep, what I started doing was I started by untwisting, un on undoing the bat essentially unraveling it into like a flat piece and then splitting it into three or four pieces lengthwise and then like pre-drafting a bit and then spinning from that then it occurred to me i could also maybe try spinning from it like it's a little baby like a like a fat bow lag almost and spin from it from the end like from this end and actually surprisingly i found that a lot easier well, not a lot easier but I found that somewhat easier and um, it actually I was able to get a more consistent uh, single spin on that which was interesting and um, I was able not only more consistent but it, I was able to get it to be finer for some, somehow I'm not entirely sure why that worked or why it turned out as well as it did but it does it has I mean so far so the last couple of bats a little mini bats I did that way and it worked out really well and it was actually felt like it was quicker to spin that way as well so that's what I'm gonna do I thought it'd be interesting to film it and share with you guys all right
morning guys um it's been a while since i checked in i can't remember when the last time was that i recorded spinning before yesterday um but the last time i left off i still had a couple of the little bats to um spin and i actually finished those and i applied the second bobbin first um and i'll explain why later it's to do with when i wind it up um anyway i wanted to do it that way um, and then, so I did that yesterday, I finished the last two little mini bats and um, plied, chain plied that yesterday and today I have to chain ply the first bobbin. Um, the reason why I did it this way is because the, the, the fibre I started with was the lightest colour colour, and I ended with the darkest colour so I applied from the darkest colour going to the lightest colour so when I wind off I'll start winding off to create my skeins. Uh, from the lightest going back to the darkest and I'm hoping that I can just combine the two bobbins of yarn onto one um, into one skein I know they'll be they'll be I'll just put in a loose knot to join them together when I knit with it I'll just undo the knot and weave in the extra ends but um, I just want it to be one skein that's really um, I don't want to have to store it as two skeins and then try to rem remember um, which end to start from and all of that so that's the plan with that. I'm really happy with how this is playing up so far. It's um, This is the finest I've been able to achieve with um, a chain ply so far. It's definitely still got some thick spots. Um, you can see that right at the end here. But throughout this section here and most of this bit, that's all a lot thinner than I've been able to achieve up till now. Um, for me, it's not so much about trying to achieve a certain weight or a certain thickness um but yeah and i'm not overly concerned with consistency either like i don't mind that um i guess traditional hand spun look with like a thick and thin sort of yarn um it's not super thick and thin but it has its patches where it's a bit thicker or a bit thinner where i've um obviously been either just starting to pick the spin again and it just takes me a couple of minutes to get back into the rhythm or just got to a tricky bit I don't know um it is what it is <laughs> doesn't bother me too much I try not to let too many things bother me that I can't control so eventually I'll learn how to control it and then it'll be great but um up to now I'm perfectly happy with how things are going I keep trying to remind myself I've only been spinning for what less than four months so um so yeah, I can't expect to be perfect straight away. Okay, so I've just finished plying the fibre, but really quickly, I just got a really fun package in the mail from uh, Spin Jones, who is another UK-based um, fibre dyer, producer, um, creates fun things with colour, essentially, and she updated her shop earlier this week I guess um, and I've been eyeing up a few things in her shop that I wanted to get and I thought you know what there's some things in there now that I really like the look of and I thought I would treat myself so I did because why not I thought I'd share with you what I got mm -hmm. okay so the, the things she updated with that I really liked was um, this little a selection of uh, what she calls urchins so it's a selection of carded bat bits so it's 100 grams in total about three and a half ounces um and i think there's no colorway on here but i believe this was like the iris colorway like flowers 
iris or crocus or something like that it was one of those but it's basically from purples to this like beautiful yellow to greens which is like some of my favorite colors so um i couldn't not get one of these and then the other one that i got and i had this in my basket on etsy for quite a while and um I ended up getting two of these because it looked really interesting and I thought this would be really fun to, um, uh, what's it, retry that short design that I'd done, that I showed on the podcast that didn't quite turn out and I think this might work as a, another iteration of it. So I picked up two to kind of recreate how I spun that one by spinning the colours in um, sets and uh, so spinning them in division and applying them together that way. So this is her Muddle Rainbow Pack. So it's a mix of Merino, Manx Lockton, and Tussa Silk, and it's six 20 gram um, bats, essentially. So actually I have one more color in this set than I did in the previous set. The previous set I did was five, so it's, it's six. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm hoping to spin this up soon and have another shot at that design and hopefully sort of think through those transitions a little bit better and come up with something that works with this um, that shawl works and it was great and I really like it but it's just not going to work as a design because it's not going to be it would be a very long pattern and it would have too many different variables that you'd have to keep track of it wouldn't be super intuitive and that's not how I like writing my designs um, sorry I've just got a little sample thingy a little extra bundle or something here that I want to open um, that's not, like, that's not how I like to write my designs. So I want it to be super approachable and easily adaptable and um, customizable, whatever, however you want to call it. Um, and I didn't want it to be super complicated or, um, yeah, I didn't want it to be too wordy. Okay, so I've got her card, Spin Jones, and a couple of little, little itty bitty samples. So one is in the Jamboree colorway and one is in the Rhubarb. So these are little blended top samples. So these will be fun to play around with. I think what I might do from now on is just save up these little samples that I get sent when I place orders or that I have been sent in the past. Um, every time I've gotten them, I've just sort of spun them up and kept them as little mini skeins. But these are like itty bitty, like not even gonna make a mini. But um, what I might do is I just save them up and then like spin them together as like a little crazy mini skein or something all right so that was that i'm going to take a bit of a break now i need to do some more work before um i take a break for lunch and then i will whilst i'm having lunch i will um wind off that uh fiber the chain plied yarn <sighs> and i will share with you how that goes all right so i've had my lunch a bit of time has passed and I'm gonna start winding off this yarn onto my nitty noddy and see how this looks. So I'm actually gonna wind this bobbin straight off the wheel, that way the bobbin can stay on the wheel for the next bit and I do. And I saw this actually from um, on Grace's podcast, Grace, um, he's the Babbles Travels Yarn, Babbles Traveling Yarn podcast. Um, she, spit, she winds her skeins off the wheel as well. So all I do is I turn one of my hooks around, loosen up the the brake band and it's a bit hard to do one-handed but there we go loop it over that hook and then tighten it up just a smidge not like fully tensioned or anything just just enough because this is just gonna hold it in place and stops the whole thing turning and stops the yarn snagging on those hooks so now we're gonna wind off We're done. I absolutely love how this has turned out. I mean, this gradient is just stunning. It's all finished.
really enjoyed how this one has turned out. It has come out to be somewhere between a fingering to sport weight overall with some areas that are a little bit more DK. But, um, but yeah, 150 grams. I can't remember the yardage off the top of my head. I have it downstairs in my notes. I'll pop it up on screen for you. And yeah, so that's that finished spin. It's a decent amount of yarn. And uh, yeah, I think this would be great for like a shawl or a cowl or something that's really gonna show off the, the gradient beautifully. I'll show you what it looks like opened up. absolutely gorgeous love how this has turned out it's still a little bit damp so I need to go hang it up until it finishes drying but um, but yeah I absolutely love it and it's turned out a lot more even than some of my other chain ply spins so I absolutely love how this has turned out and that's it for this week's spinning vlog, or this particular spinning vlog. It took a couple of weeks to get there, but did it in the end. And um, and yeah, so I think I think I've got another spin planned soon, which I might also vlog. So we'll see. And um, yeah, I'll be back with you guys again soon.